Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage unboxing video uh, where today we have what is possibly the heaviest uh, kind of package received and uh, it actually weighs almost nine pounds which I think is about four kilos in my talk um, but yeah we've got some cars and hobby supplies uh, and this has come over from Grant who uh, from Minnesota and if you'll remember recently I've done um, a few cars for for Grant and I've recently just sent them over to him and you had the two um, Hazard County Sheriff cars and the two Minnesota State Patrol cars um, but yeah this one the heavy one not only well it's come from from of course the beautiful US of A but this has cost almost $90 which blows my mind not only for the cost in general but you know Grant just out of his kind of kindness of his heart uh, to send over such a, a such a package like this and I have been expecting it Grant did send me an email and uh, of course whatever is in here I know it's going to be great the last package that uh, Grant sent was an amazing lot trying to do my best to cut through this and of course not cut myself and especially not cut anything that's inside so here we are we do have a note I think is that a note no no it looks um, so there is a note let me just uh, quickly make sure there's no details on here yeah we're okay so let me just put that to one side so July 16th, um, today is August 6th I think, I think this come yesterday, uh, August 5th, so yeah, um, when was this sent? Sent on the 17th, so it's taken a couple of weeks to come over. Um, hi Rob, well this is the second attempt at sending you these items, hope you're getting this. Um, that's right, because Grant, I think unfortunately, he sent this already, once already, and it got stuck in US customs. I don't think it left the country and was returned to him. So, you know, if certainly that's the case, then, you know, that's another lot of um, uh, postage fee. So, you know, more appreciation there um, than, than ever before. Um, I hope you're getting this. If all goes well, it will begin uh, being two parts this time. He did mention that there was gonna be, um, I think he perhaps split them over uh, two, I say smaller boxes. This is a, a heavy box. I couldn't imagine what, you know, the combined would have weighed. Uh, but this box is full of cars, bagged, uh, mostly by my or brand Matchbox, Ertl, Tamika, Catming, and I think a few odd ones. Uh, the Ertl ha has uh, several Dukes of Hazard, three General Lees, um, Rasco's police car, and two Cooters pickups, uh, along with the two 18 vans and Hardy's restaurant racing teams. Uh, Danny from Danny's Diecast Disasters might be a little jealous. Uh, LOL. Um, yeah, he loves all this type of stuff. So, um, and so do I. Um, I've also had some. Um, um, testers paint oh wow and some vinyl stripping um, testers we don't get in the UK um, a special kind of import from the USA so it'd be interesting to use that for the first time and some vinyl stripping well that'll be interesting I've not used that before so we'll have a look see what that's like um, I'm sending a second package with old license plates um, with no note in it and I hope you'll enjoy uh, all that that I send you uh, happy restoring yeah you know the if 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 or when these license plates do come I know they've not been sent as yet um, but of course I do have a, a massive collection of plates now which I've only been uh, through the kindness of, of my subscribers and you know I've really started to uh, have a collection there uh, your friend on the other side of the pond uh, Grant Fursdale so thank you Grant uh, P.S. I forgot to mention I'm including some newspapers from our little town in uh, rural southern Minnesota so that'll be interesting to read um, you know and I've, I've kind of mentioned it in other unboxings previously where the packaging it, to me is, is interesting uh, having never been to America um, and of course one day I hope to wow let me see if I can just pour this out there's a lot in here I think this one this one's gonna be a long video guys so I hope you uh you stick with me I'm 
the uh, let's start off with the paper here but I know that uh, Grant's details are here so I shall uh, cleverly put my thumb over them uh, but this is the Minnesota Lake home of Festag uh, the Tribune so we got a few uh, see it may just seem silly to some people but you know I would love to I just like looking through these I like looking at the um, you know at the for sale seeing the kind of house prices in the area uh, maybe there's got some cars that I like to look at uh, the different you know even things like this my children can have a go at playing with something like this that will just in itself give me I'm sure hours of, of fun right so this is an enamel custom spray personalized from Hobby Lobby. We don't have Hobby Lobby here in the UK that I know of. A uh, bright light purple. So that'll be interesting. We'll use that on one of the cars. Yep, that I shall pop over here. Now what is this? Okay, this is a matchbox. Um, matchbox. Can't read what it says. It's come off, but uh, matchbox adventure pack, light and sound. Have, oh, we've got a car here. Oh, look at that! Though. That looks brand new. It's a Mercedes uh, 280GE. Wow, still has the plastic on it. Look at those wheels, uh, probably from well, it's stamped 1984, but who knows when this was actually stamped? Probably from the 90s, I'm gonna guess. Uh, this one's stamped 1986, but oh, look at that! Though. That's a lovely bit of kit. And you've got lions, wow. I've never seen anything like this before. Is that just packaging? Yeah, that's just packaging. So you put your lions and bits in this, in this cage. Looks like we've got a piece broken off there, unfortunately. I'll have to have a look, see where that goes and put that back on. But isn't that wonderful? I've never seen that before. I need to just gently put this to one side so I can put all that back together off camera shortly. Oh, this is the uh, Testus trim tape. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, trim tape and then uh, in other languages um, of course we've got the yellow there the black and the red looks like it's got some age to it hopefully it's still got a bit of stickiness to this uh, because I will certainly be using that and then oh, let's uh, get onto this bag first of all I can't believe how many cars there are Got some caravans. Oh, this is a Yakming, uh, made in Hong Kong. Quite lightweight, made out of plastic, but I do like that. Oh, this is a Maisto, made in China. See, I don't have any of these kind of uh, lighter weight. I guess more modern caravans. Look at that. Though. It looks in perfect kind of condition to be playing with. That's lovely, that. Got a trailer here. I wonder whether... No, it doesn't appear so. Um, I was just wondering whether the... It's another Yakming. Uh, whether the actual... Kind of uh, uh, truck. Um, this is a paramedic a Zilmex ambulance van. Um, I 
kind of restored one of these, I think, recently. Um, as I look round, I can't see it. But I know I did something with one of those. Oh, there it is. Is it? No, it's not. That's blue. So this is Yakming, made in Hong Kong. This one, it feels like a, a more modern, and unfortunately, the more modern it is, it seems to be the more cheaper the uh, construction. <laughs> so this is a rip-off, uh, a Yakming Ford made in Hong Kong. Of course, a rip-off of uh, Matchbox, but it has a certain charm to it. Uh, this one's a Corgi Juniors digger, made in Great Britain. So this one has made its way back home again. And uh, oh, so you got a little lever there. Is that a lever? No, I think it's just uh, probably needs to be trimmed off. But that's fun though. Lovely little boat. Is there a trailer to that? Yep. So another one with a little sticker there made in China, um, a Yakming I guess. But nice little something fun to be pulling behind a little car. Uh, this one looks like we're, is that part of there? Yeah. Looks like we're missing the wheels on this one but that is really nice. Oh, it's a shame we're missing the grill. See there we're missing the grill. Let me just move my light around. So we're missing the grill there which is a bit of a shame. But perhaps we could uh, come up with something. Um, what is this? Used under license, made in China, 1970 Ford Pinto. Doesn't tell me the brand. Um, uses a screw, but it's a metal base. I'm interested in this one. Uh, the window section there in good condition. Like I say, we are missing the front grille and I think that is sitting flush so we're missing like a, a piece at the back here which houses the rear lights and maybe a, a piece in the middle there but a little bit of research I think required to see what it is missing so I can replace it. Uh, this one is a Z, um, of course it's a Volkswagen Beetle, quite lightweight, uh, missing part of the front bumper there. Look at this old Mustang. Again, very similar to the uh, the Matchbox one. Uh, Mustang, Hong Kong. It's got one too many uh, lights on the back there. It's a bit smaller than the Matchbox. Um, I don't have it to hand right now um, because it got sold on eBay. So it's on its way out to somewhere. Um, well, this is the Yatming Maserati Bora. So again, another matchbox rip off of this one um, unfortunately we've got a crack in the uh, front window there and in the back I do like that though here we have a Yakming doesn't say what it is but of course it's a crane and we are unfortunately missing part of it maybe just the hook which I could probably get from one of my other cars that are in you know a sorry state of repair and if I use one little part from another brand to fix another I'm okay with that um, we've got a couple of little spare wheels here not too sure where they've come from uh, this is fun so this is a Zilmex Ford pickup made in Hong Kong and uh, yeah there you go Ford pickup custom rod it's a funny looking thing, I think with a better set of wheels, take off the stickers, maybe fit some kind of styrene, you know, for for glass in there. I think that would be quite fun. Um, and we do have a, a car, I think it's falling out of this package there, so I'll leave that. I remember on the uh, first package that we received from uh, Grant, he 
normally when I get stuff from the US it's Hot Wheels, um, of course Matchbox, um, and a couple of you know American brands, Ertel and such. Um, but I, yeah, with uh, Grant, um, I know he loves the uh, the Tamika and the Zilmex and the and the kind of uh, odd brands, I guess you could say. All the cars that I've done for Grant were made in Japan, Tamikas. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the Hitachi dump truck. And that is in relatively good condition. Wheels actually suit this one. Perhaps a, a freshen up with a paint. But I like that. Uh, this is a Tamika. It claims 1978, but I think this is a much more modern build. Uh, a Bugatti Coupe de Ville. It's in really good condition. I think this scale was a little off. It looks a little bit too long and skinny, perhaps. But imagine just driving around in that, you know, back in the, what would this would have been, the 20s, I guess. Uh, Tamika American Truck made in Japan that is very nice that needs nothing other than just going straight on the shelf for display that's a beauty and I think just this combination of colors to me white black and red yeah that's one of my favorites that's lovely that here we have a Tamika Hino, is it Hino or Hino uh, truck, made in Japan. So these made in Japan ones, I think they're the older ones. I think later on they're made in China. I could be wrong. I don't know too much about Tamika, but uh, even the pronunciation, uh, Tamika, Tamika, Tomika, um, I'll go with Tamika. I think uh, everybody's got their own version of what it should be. But uh, yeah, this is a shell truck, very nice. Oh, look at this. Um, this is a Tamika towing, a uh, Mitsubishi towing tractor. I mean, we're assuming it's going to be on the airport, perhaps towing an airplane. 950, there's just a random sticker there, but that's pretty cool. Never seen anything like that before. Um, a lot of these Tomikas I've never seen before. Um, I've only got a very small um, selection of Tomika toys, so this is certainly going to probably quadruple my collection of Tomika. But uh, yeah, look, looks like we're missing the uh, front headlight here, and we're missing a, uh, a back door here. But I think that could probably be uh, replaced with a bit of... Um, styrene you know a couple of little pins and uh, replicate that it's got a nice bit of weight to this one actually probably all in the uh, in the kind of uh, trailer part here this is an old one um, or at least made to look old uh, a model T no it's a type T Ford happy home bread meals baking company I'm not too sure about the shape of this one. I don't know whether it's off or it's just something that I've not seen before, but it's very interesting. A um, little bit of a break at the rear there, which is a shame, but the front comes forward. Don't know how forward, just a little bit, just to show a little bit of the uh, engine underneath there. Oh, there you go, so there you go. That's actually got one in working, so maybe, because this is broken, we will have to take the uh, the door from this to fix the other one. I like the colour though. Very similar to the um, the Ferrari, the old Lesney Ferrari. Uh, what is this? This is funky. Uh, Tamika, made in Japan, uh, number fifty five, the Vamos Honda. Look at that little thing. Sweet, isn't it? Now, there's a bit of a break there, but I could probably easily glue that. I wonder whether that is complete. I love that. We'll um, detail that out. 
The wheels are not too bad, but I've got a set in mind that I want mine putting on there. That's a funky little thing. Have you ever seen one of them before? I oh, know I certainly haven't. That is lovely. Could be my favourite so far. Uh, this one we've got opening doors. It's a Toyota, it claims to be. Uh, a Toyota Celica Turbo. Um, made in Japan. 1979, this number. So this is another one. Um, Toyota Celica. Or in the US, I think you pronounce this Celica. Um, Toyota Celica, but yeah, Celica here in the UK, um, and that is in really good condition. The wheels could probably, you know, do with uh, upgrading. The paint is not too bad. I wonder whether that needs a real nice kind of uh, paint job with some decals on there, or leave it as it is because it's quite quite a good survivor that one. One in a large bag here. This is a matchbox. Look at that. And this is one in relatively good condition. Um, a matchbox Super Kings Plymouth Trowel Duster. 1973 Lesney products made in England. Um, yeah, really good condition. I'm guessing we are missing something on the front there maybe um, a bit of string with a hook um, and then I think I don't think there's probably any lever or anything like that you just you know wind it in um, as an emergency vehicle we are still with this uh, kind of searchlight on the top the horns there or the trumpets whatever you want to call those um, looks like we are missing something on the back here so a little bit of research for this one but um, yeah that's lovely that windscreen there in good condition that's one I think that once I figure out what should go on the back here and clean it up looks like it's been played with in the dirt which is of course what these toys should be um, but I think that one could be for display I think this is the um, Ertl package I do have a few uh, tools. Um, I, I, I can see and recognise a few of these that I do have, but the ones that I have are in good condition, so I, I don't feel like I can restore them because if they're, you know, you don't restore something that's already clean, right? You you restore something like this. So this would be perfect. This is a perfect candidate, um, and it looks like. Uh, you know, I think uh, through the films or, or through even the programs, they probably went through many cars and they had one for nice and clean shots, one that, you know, goes over the river and stuff. Um, yeah, this one is the busted out one, which needs a little bit of work. Looks like it's been stamped on. But I think uh, by the... I'm just trying to think by the smell of it, I wonder whether that's been sitting in the swamp as well. But uh, yeah, so we've got four of these uh, in kind of, well, I don't know what kind of order would you put them in for uh, probably this kind of order. Um, you got the clean one, which can be used for referencing. And then this beaten up one somewhere down at the bottom end for, uh, for restoration. So, that's something I need to uh, research the required kind of decals for those. Uh, we have this one, which is a more modern Ertl. Um, it's a Dyersville, oh, the Ertl company, Dyersville, Iowa, USA, made in Korea. There you go. I guess it keeps costs down. Um, but yeah, this is a Mountain Dew car. And looking on the inside, it's very basic. I would say this is a one of your cheaper ones. You know, as a child though, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't care, and uh, that would still be well worth playing with, and that's in very good condition.
so I wouldn't want to muck around with that one. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of, these have got a bit of weight to it. Is that a metal base? No, it's plastic. Now I do have one of these already, but I think again, it's in really good condition. So I haven't uh, wanted to, to do anything with it. But so, you know, with this, of course you've got part of a decal there on both sides, but we do have a crack in the windscreen there and we are missing um, part or most of the front grille. The wheels are pretty bad on this one, same again on that uh, rear. But you know, between the two, again this one doesn't really need restoring but we could, for the sake of a video, use the parts from one to fix another and uh, see how it turns out. The two A teams. Uh, if you are an old subscriber to my channel, uh, you will remember that I did a, a kind of a a British take on an A team, and I used a full Transit, uh, one of those full is it super vans, um, which was quite good fun. But uh, yeah, to do a proper one, a real one, I think are uh, always the way to go. Um, I don't know whether now they both claim to be 1983 uh, Stephen J. Canal Productions, all rush reserved, um, made in the USA, both of these. But the difference I note is that this one is painted on, and this one is a sticker. So I don't know whether that can age them any further. Looks like, uh, you know, looks like the wheels and everything else is identical, just a uh, with a tempo and with a sticker. You know, we could do a whole series on these. Um, this one's in good condition. Again, if we need to use the parts, um, you've got the sticker on the side there. And actually this one has got his toe hook, so that's probably the better one of that little bunch. I do have one of these, but again, this is, um, I actually, ah, yeah, see, can't remember now I've got one of these already and it's not in bad condition but I think part of the front bumper is broken um, and I'm hoping that the rear of the other one is not broken because between the two now we can have a, um, a full front bumper and a full rear bumper and uh, you know maybe do a restoration or customization on this the uh, the wheels are very close together but you know, not unlike some uh, Hot Wheels that you may be able to borrow some wheels from, do a bit more of a, I don't know, a fancy colour. Unless these cars should be kept the way they are. Um, uh, that, I think, is part of that. Uh, of course, this is the Hazard uh, County uh, police car. This is very well battered a lot of paint is missing i think a lot of the plastics are a little bit damaged the window section there is scored the wheels well the 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 rims have come off on uh, both sides there uh, br breaking that glass there but yeah that's uh could be used in the demo derby though um a couple of Oh, they actually read something different. So again, um, are they identical? No, they're not identical. They are slightly different. Um, of course, they're both uh, Ertl, but perhaps someone can help me age them. Um, if you look at the rear end, they are slightly different. They are, yeah, I'd say there's probably a lot more differences in these that is first realized around the front the grills are different you know it's not not massively different but certainly they are there are some differences there um, but yeah you got the Hardys uh, one says uh, a Chevrolet Camaro replica um, and that one is made in Taiwan, 
this one it says Hardy's Roadrunner 90 made in Hong Kong I'm gonna guess the made in Hong Kong is the earlier one could be wrong your answers down on a postcard um, and then we have an Ertl uh, made in Hong Kong just little uh, trailer there so this uh, this is Kidco Uh, Kiko 1980 made in Hong Kong so it's a plastic car uh, one of those ones that you put something in the back and then it spring off got a couple of those metal <laughs> metal base with plastic tops that's an interesting combination oh these are, are all the same so oh wow um, so they call it key cars uh, this is a burning key car um, made in Macau what is this one this one's made in Hong Kong uh, this one, of course, is a, a Datsun, Datsun 2 volt is said, or 240Z, um, but uh, there's nothing on the bottom that says that. Uh, what car is this? Uh, a Knight Rider, so this is the Trans Am, is it? Or a Firebird? Um, 1982 a little bit before my time I did watch a couple of episodes as a real young child I remember um, Michael Knight David Hasselhoff of course um, but yeah that's pretty cool uh, with rubber tires there I reckon you know you put the key in the back there and let that go I bet you that would go pretty fast um, and then we have one last bag but let me just have a little wipe by looking at this bag I think this is what I'm more and perhaps what we're all more familiar with this is the matchbox bag um, unsure what this bit of wire goes to and I think unfortunately we've got quite a few breakages in this little lot and we've got a windscreen there we've got a, a wheel and a tire but uh, yeah let's just start then with another wheel over here look looks like that one's already been uh, somewhat modified but anyway we have the matchbox series number 12 land rover safari uh, missing the kind of luggage on the top a little crack in the front windscreen there I've never done one of these and I need to. Oh, tire's just falling out the back. Uh, this one is a Matchbox Series number 44 refrigerator truck. We're missing the doors on the back. But nice little truck. Uh, the Matchbox Series number 29, the fire pumper truck. I think I've got one in almost identical state to this. We are missing um, a couple of bits on the side here. Uh, we've got a broken windscreen there. But you know, I've never really done one of these before. I need to get into something like that. Of course, we've you know so many cars to do. Eventually, you start doing them again, um, and then you look for alternatives. You know, to keep myself um, interested. And this has got some nice little detail on it already painted the rear lights the rear number plate the uh, looks like a little bit of chrome paint on the exhaust tips the lights for the number plate and also the door lock they've gone for a yellow and orange theme we're missing the uh, windscreen though that's nice um, of course it's a Lamborghini Miura I have done one of these before I think I'm sure I have I must have done so many now can't even remember what I have or haven't done I've done about 250 cars now uh, the full Corsair in silver I know I've done a couple of these uh, restored looks like they've got uh, a black interior on this one with a red um, this one must have come apart no oh. 
so they've they've painted that black on the inside must have got in with a with a brush I'm guessing don't know how they've done that but yeah silver with a black roof should be cream all over um, and also something on the top I can't remember what it is I think it's um, it holds some kayaks or canoes or something um, but a little bit of detail around the front as well amber in the indicators a little bit of black in that front grille uh, so this one we have the Dodge wreck truck and we're missing the wrecking part of it this is interesting what is this oh <laughs> I see what he's done um, so this is the um, the MG 1100 which I'm sure I do have um, it's actually not in bad condition um, but it's been modified it's been modified into like a, a rally version number 14 there number 14 there it's had some uh, those wheels that have fallen off from earlier on just super glued to the roof and it looks like some kind of uh, mud splashes on the side got the little fella there and the dog in the back and some further details nice to see someone's had a go at that uh, perhaps we could do a matchbox garage reimagining something like that you know and do it kind of our way um, but I do like that that's oh, another one of those uh, fire trucks and this is a tipper container truck So there is, yeah. So say if you had something very fine in there, probably sand, maybe salt, sugar. But as you lift that up, you can't really see it. Oh, there you go. But there is a very fine little slit at the back there. So if you're playing with this, you know, I think it's going to keep shut there. And then when you open it up, open that just a very light amount. And I think that sand, as you're pulling it along will be coming out so that's a nice little toy uh, the opal diplomat one of my favorites uh, George Hodges as well he I think this is one of his favorites too he's done a, a wonderful uh, custom on one of these uh, a while ago uh, but we are missing a bonnet here and we do have a crack in the windscreen um, and it looks like somebody has chewed off that tow hook I don't blame them but uh, very nice car all the same we have a modified uh, Scammell breakdown truck. So this is an early um, Lesney product. Looks like it was yellow uh, to begin with. Um, probably always green on the back, but I think looks like, or maybe it was always green. This green, I think is the original all over. Um, and then yellow maybe it was over painted in yellow first then over painted in red um, green on the rear a little bit of orange there but um, yeah it makes it quite interesting um, we're missing the little hook here but the child has been had good fun with that is uh, recreated their own little hook there and I'm sure that does work a 4x4 Jeep we are missing the window surround but we can always recreate that and uh, we're also missing the uh, kind of rollover bars but big old big old wheels on these jeeps so this is another uh, corsair in more of your original condition so this one actually does now have the red interior and although the window sections are quite beaten up i think there is a crack in that rear one yeah there's a few little cracks there probably see them in the light it's a bit of a shame but I think usable you know I've, looks like this has sat on a window shelf somewhere got real hot really hot uh, the wheels have melted and have flat spied see that on uh, all four wheels there call that must have been real hot sat somewhere Uh, this one, the Studebaker Lark Wagonaire. Um, I've done a, a restoration on one of these well, a long time ago now, but uh, one of my favourite castings. I think it's beautiful. 
uh, the Matchbox Series number 72 Jeep. Um, again, I've done a bit of a light restoration on one of these. Uh, I went with, instead of just the original solid yellow, if I remember rightly, I went with um, a metallic yellow and I put like a latest kind of uh, a Jeep style wheels on it. And I really like that actually, and I still have it. Um, I don't have it to hand, I think it's in one of my other display cabinets. And uh, we have here a Freeman in the inner city commuter. Another one I have restored before. What is happening with that wheel? Looks like a bit of heat to the side there, a bit of heat to this wheel, and it's melted flat. Interesting. What is this? Dragon wheels. Um, I have a dragon wheel, so doesn't appear we have the body to it. Um, but yeah, uh, dragon wheels. Very cool. If I remember rightly, the dragon wheels is like a, I think it's like a Volkswagen Beetle um, style body uh, to this dragster. I've got it somewhere. I've got it somewhere. Uh, another one of these uh, Studebaker Light Wagoneers. Beautiful. Um, some others that I've had have always been missing this part. But on both of these, we have it. Although it looks like at the kind of ends have been pinched in here, so this won't come all the way. But that would be relatively easy. Take this apart. Obviously, take the uh, window out. A little bit of heat around this area, and then just lightly push it out. This is wonderful. This is not a matchbox though. Um, Roadmaster MP Supercars. Now, uh, it's a Lone Star, made in England. Um, still one, even though these are made in England, I still find them very rare. Um, they are lovely though, and unfortunately we are missing the boot and the bonnet. I've got a couple of these, not necessarily this Taunus. Um, what's that, a Ford? Ford Taunus, I think. Um, we didn't have that car in the UK. I don't know, did we? Have, did you guys have it in America or is this a Taunus? Uh, it says to me that perhaps this was in Australia, but I'm not too sure. A little bit of research required. Uh, this one is a low mass ambulance. And I'm just looking around to the side of me. I've got another one which is in almost identical um, kind of condition and again missing the doors on the back which is a shame some decals for the side um, for something like this you know I, I would want a, a proper restoration so now that I've got a pair of them maybe I'll go to model supplies and buy a couple of sets of doors couple of sets of decals and you know restore these together I think that'd be quite nice got a, got a couple more of these all in the same or similar condition See, look, they always seem to be missing part of these look, on the both sides. Heavy, uh, kind of, uh, it's not rusting, is it? But uh, yeah, pitting certainly on the side of there. Corrosion, I think that was the word I was looking for. Um, we've got here. I think that goes like that. And then that goes like that. Uh, yeah, a bit of a, a breakage there, unfortunately. But maybe a bit of super glue. We'll get that back together. Uh, this is a Matchbox uh, refuse truck. Um, this one, the number 54, the SNS Cadillac Ambulance. The window is not in bad condition. Is that a crack? Yeah, unfortunately we do have a crack through here. I think a little crack there. Um, I have restored one of these. Not a, not a pure restoration. I've done it in like the Ghostbusters theme and added uh, some Ghostbusters uh, decals on it, which I really liked um, and I've got somewhere. Uh, this is a Husky. I've got a few little Huskies and I really like the Husky brand. Um, 
the and I think I've restored or customized two of them the only problem with a husky that I find absolute nightmare to remove the bases you wouldn't think it it's just a little plastic base and you know it should be relatively easy to remove these uh, kind of rolled over posts or the rivet heads but whenever I do it that just slips just go and this is paper thin go straight through nightmare but anyway this one uh, does it say what it's called no but of course it's a, a cement truck of some sort oh wow look at that for the first time I think that I have ever seen this is a Land Rover Safari with the see that that's how easy it is to come off and lose you see um, I think that's the first time I've ever seen one with the luggage compartment intact um, this one originally in green but I do like the attempt to modify the color of this one uh, with the kind of off-white cream color through the center I think that looks very nice I think uh, whoever did that done a good job very nice it's those that I kind of then fancy, you know, do, redoing, re you know, uh, redoing myself. Uh, this one, the Dodge Challenger, and it looks like uh, we had another child that's trying to recreate something from the Dukes of Hazard. So that's pretty cool. But one of these ambulances looks like oh, it's kind of broke. Oh wow, it uh, looks like it's been stepped on. This one. A breakage there I think some breakages here yeah I think this ambulance is the stretch of fetcher is probably a stretch too far for uh, for repair today oh that's a shame the Mercedes 230 SL what normally breaks is the windscreen as you can see um, that may have been part of it there's some bits of windscreen sitting around here unfortunately um, but yeah this would have been originally in white and this one has been painted in orange not too sure I agree with the color choice but not bad not bad execution obviously it's beaten up now but I'm guessing that when this was first done it weren't too bad this is an R1 made in England uh, by Lesney and it reads Muir Hill dumpers I think quite thin and I reckon that's got some real age to that one I haven't seen that one before not in terrible condition either um, so I need to do a bit of research I think uh, this one is the Euclid dump truck number six very fun we done one of these recently um, this is the site hut truck this one is the Mercedes truck and I think I've got a couple of trailers somewhere this is one of these drag URs um, I've got quite a few of these some of them in really good condition some of them not so much this one of course is in the not so much category we are missing the uh, the dome uh, there and I've never restored or customized one of these so I'll have to I will have to one day you know we've got plenty of time and I've certainly got plenty of castings uh, this is the a whoosh and push and it should have a is it a number five I can't remember they should have a, a decal on the back here um, and it looks like I think it's an engine piece on the back here as well but a funky little thing when I first got into this that kind of thing would never interest me but um, it does today because especially now I've got the like flip paints and, and um, like candies it, it makes more sense to paint it in those kind of colors um, this is the grit spreading truck so another one you know we put your sand in there and it will come and I'm sure hours of fun I've already been had with that so look all you can see this here just uh, all the paint coming off 
what is this? Aviva. So it claims to be 1958 United Feature Syndicate, made in Japan. I've never seen or heard this one before. Uh, it looks like the uh, driver has lost his head, and we lost some tips on the end of these exhaust pipes. Um, I don't think there's probably anything else around the side here. Um, but yeah. 1958 um, I'm guessing this was probably made in the 80s or maybe 90s but um, oh yeah and we of course we've got a broken windscreen there but you know a bit of research never heard of that one before and we've got a tire and some broken windscreens and part of something else there just a few more left guys um, so this is the case tractor we're missing some um, tracks some rubber tracks there the case um, I actually see a case tractor just yesterday um, we went to visit a local farm and they had a, a small kind of museum on the side of it and had some different tractors and whatnot and yeah I see a case tractor um, never knew the brand before but haven't seen one yesterday and seen this one today yeah I can put now two and two together got this old bus um, well, it's quite corroded though what does it say I think it's, uh, it says, it's a root master series number five I think it says uh, with the BP uh, decal on the side there and uh, my guess is that this one never come with interior or window section but yeah the old Routemaster what a beautiful old red bus of course been on many of them myself with London just down the road um, another spare tyre this is a Leyland number 10 um, a pipe truck missing the pipes which is where well, that's going to be now um, and it looks like someone's had fun with uh, smashing up the wind uh, the front windscreen there and then last but not least another one of these uh, SNS Cadillac ambulance um, yeah maybe I'll do a, a true restoration on one of these soon uh, Grant thank you so very much mate um, there are a huge amount of cars here and they all deserve to be restored um, thank you very much for for doing that um, I really appreciate it mate and uh, guys let me know which ones you want to see restored uh, normally I would put you know a, a, an unboxing at the end of a restoration video but this is well it's almost an hour long so um, yeah I think the biggest unboxing probably that I've ever had so uh, thanks again Grant and uh, please all keep safe and I'll see you all soon